And how is your week? Hi, she... Well, I'm my fine. Head, I've got a hairband on this week. I'm the leopard. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go and discuss the last four cards from the or uh, which is Oracle by Marla Brooks. And uh, the publisher is uh, Shifo Red Feather, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, if you've been following us, the box is also voluptuous and rich. It's like this. It's a really sturdy box, and you can see what the cards are like. It's black. Ooh, the witch's colour. And then we open it up, and that is what the box looks like. It's very nice. Look at the purple bands. Yes, purple is spiritual, huh? Remember. Yeah. Yes. So yes. I'll just show you what the box looks like. Like that. And then you get the booklet as well. And that lies on top of the cards. And then the pictures are colour. And you get the meaning of uh, the history of the card. And you get the meaning of the card. Then you get a gemstone and an incantation. For those that are joining our series now, this is our last episode. Please go and look at the right from the beginning, then you can see all the cards one by one and what it means to Wendy, who is a Dutch lady, but also a witch. And we've spoken about limitations and wh uh, what is the difference between a witch or a uh, a homeopathist or a aromatherapist, those are all uh, people that work with the alternative uh, things. And that all started because I know Wendy already for 15 or longer years and yeah. because, of, because of a deck that I did a review on. So you can see also the review on charliesangeltarot.com or in the playlists at Charlie's Angels Tarot on YouTube. And I'm, I'm, I'm not pushing this, I'm just, this is just for information for everybody that's interested. Um, and I think it's a, a, a big thank you to Shifer and Red Feather Publishers for us to be able to do this and give us the creation, the, give us the idea, or rather I had the idea. Um, and I think it's amazing, the series, I'm really sorry that it is the last episode of the series because I did enjoy it and perhaps we'll do something like this in the future. Um, but um, we definitely will start working together again um, in um, September when Wendy has settled down in Belgium because she's immigrating to Belgium. And she, she, she's OK there uh, because they also speak Flemish, which is a, 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 a Dutch with a dialect. OK. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're going to discuss the witch. Now, this this card has the witch with the black cat. We've already discussed the black cat a couple of weeks ago. And um, but this is her uh, familiar, her pet, her luck, her charm. OK. So we're going to start reading the witch and Wendy will give the definition afterwards in Dutch and I will translate. Witch. There was a time long ago when the witches are, were honoured and reverted. They respected and worshipped the cycles of life and the earth, including the faces of the moon the changing seasons, birth and death. They learned to make use of the Earth's gifts and natural cycles and thus were viewed as healers and wise women. But don't forget the wizards, because you've got the manly people as well. Yeah. And I'll be including um, Wendy's partner, the wizard, not the wizard of Oz, but the wizard of Belgium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what is his name? Jürgen, isn't it? Jürgen, yeah. Yeah, Jürgen. Okay. Yeah. So the witches and wizards. Okay, let's find the, the place back. Um, the wise women, they and wise men, they were the ones the people went to for guidance in times of sickness and need 
and that's what we discussed in right in episode one. The witches were the prototypes to doctors because they knew knew the uh, herbs and the shamans. Um, those are the Indians and the native Indians of Canada, America, and also India, I suppose, and Africa. Okay. Um, they were the ones the people went to for guidance in times of sickness and in need. Old writings show that if a witch came to visit, the Lord and Lady of the house would give up the seat, their seat, high seat, to her. A very powerful way of indicating that the witch had higher authority. In the, uh, the meaning of the card is, in life, the witch herself is a magical tool in her own right. In a reading, the witch is most powerful card of all. It represents you and is a reminder that it is your intentions and energies that determine the results of any magical or mundane work that you do. The focus concentration and desires are within you and are always at your disposal to make your deepest, darkest or lightest desires come to fruition. Never doubt or overlook the power within. It is a gift you will carry forever and, uh, and use it wisely. So basically, it's every woman like a mother. Yeah. Well, also, no, yeah. Nobody can disagree with that. No. <laughs> and the crystal order gem is amber. Amber is a fossilized tree resin. Still organic, does not a proper crystal. Worn by witches for millennia, amber helps you tap into ancient wisdom. Connect to the Earth's energies and embrace your inner power. Wear amber when you need a boost in your magical abilities. Incantation. I do believe in the power in me and use this gift wisely. To set myself free, I have the ability to do what I must and this ability I implicitly trust. Beautiful comment. Yeah. Dit is als, uh, deze kaart is de krachtigste kaart van het hele dek eigenlijk. Ja? This is, Wendy says, this is the most powerful card in the whole entire deck. Ja. Dus ook waar deze kaart voor staat is eigenlijk van wees doordacht van je krachten en je woorden en je daden. Uh, what this card means is um, be powerful. Is that, is that what you're saying? Ja, zo van wees doordacht gewoon uh, van je krachten. Be uh, really aware of your power. Oké, okay, wow. Je, je woorden, hè, de words en je, yeah. en je daden. Your words and your deeds. So, just. En ook van hè, wees voorzichtig met in alles wat je doet en werk vanuit zuiverheid. Um, en. Nou ja, richt, richt daarop. En ook uh, dan voel je jezelf verzekerd daarin. Ja, gewoon okay. sta in je kracht. Uh, um, sorry, Wendy. Zo van, uh, doe voorzichtig. Uh, doe Be voorzichtig. Careful. Be careful ja. with your words and your deeds. Uh, because they have immense power. And ja. you have to work from out purity. And maar ook wees oprecht en zelfverzekerd. Um, be honest, be clear, be true, be just and be self-assured. En het is ook hè, misbruik de macht niet. Don't ever misuse your power. Ja. Een echte, een, een echte heks beaamt, die, weet de, die, weet, die kent de wet van de rule of three. Um, a real witch honors and knows the law, the rule of three. Ja. 
En als je dat daar vanuit gaat werken, dan komt alles goed. En als je werkt vanuit daar, de rule of three, en een pure hart en met love, dan is alles goed. Dank je, Wendy. Ja. So now we're going on to the witch's bottle. Yeah, the witch's bottle. The witch's bottle. The witch's bottle is a very old spell device with great power filled with sharp items and then sealed and buried under the fireplace, the floor plastered inside the walls or hidden in the farthest corner of a property. It serves as a trap for negativity and negative energy that may be directed at you. This form of bottle spell dates back hundreds of years and was quite prevalent in Elizabethan England, where superstitions and beliefs in witches were strong. The first mention of a witch's bottle appeared in the 17th century. It is believed that the bottle will remain active as long as it, it remains hidden, untouched and unbroken. The witch's bottle appear, meaning of the card, the witch's bottle appears most often during a reading when you are feeling threatened by someone or something and are either consciously or subconsciously seeking protection. The danger is in fact real, so this might be a good time to make a real witch's bottle for your safety. If you cannot physically make one, then envision one in your mind and set that protection in place. The gemstone is black onyx. Black onyx is among the most protective and shielding gemstones avail available. Strongly grounding, it often, uh, sorry, it offers protection from danger, directs your attention where it is most needed to get through trying times. Add a piece of this stone to the witch's bottle or place it around the home as a substitute to bolster your personal protection. Incantation, white light of protection, I call upon thee to protect me from danger of any degree. A bottle of sharps will capture the threat and bind it like a safety net. Um, hey, you have all the black onyx. I, yeah, I, uh, this is a black onyx. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love onyx. I always yeah. used to have a ring with black onyx and oh, it, dropped, it, dropped, it dropped out. The stone dropped out. Oh, yeah. I never got dan, another ring after that. Yeah, dan heb, je, dan heb je genoeg bescherming daarin gehad en heeft hij zijn werking gedaan. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Wendy says, I, then I've had enough protection because I had an onyx ring and the stone dropped out. Okay. Yeah. Nee, deze kaart zegt als ware dat je zelf meer en meer en beter moet beschermen. This card says that you have to really, really protect yourself more and more. So when you get this card in a reading, then you have to be more aware that you have to protect yourself for everything. Ja, meer dan de, dat je daarvoor al deed. En, um, Before. Ja, wat je kan doen is bijvoorbeeld uh, om een, uh, be maak bijvoorbeeld beschermende water, hè, een protection spray zeg maar. Die kun je zelf maken met verschillende kruiden en uh, ja, ook met volle maan, uh, volle maan zeg maar laden, dus met volle maan uh, klaar. Wat je kan also do is not only put the onyx, like it says in the book, put the onyx um, in the bottle. Actually, it's you can. I don't know whether you can see, but it's got nails in it. Yeah. It's got yeah. the five star cross in it, and it's also got um, a, a piece of bone in it. 
Um, so that is the protection. So it's to draw the negative energy towards it. But Wendy says you can also make your own protective brew from different herbs. Yeah, herbs and uh, stones and the full moon. And, the full moon. Uh, and, and how long do you have to put it in the full moon? Just the night? Um, yeah, the mid uh, of uh, 24 hours. And uh, you can sit it on uh, naar buiten. You can put moon. it outside, yes, in the full moon. Yeah. And then it will energize the full moon, will sit, send the energy onto the bottle. Yeah, and ook uh, witch hazel, you witch can uh, put in it. Yeah, and uh, you can spray in the room of, nou ja, outside. But you can't get witch hazel in Holland. Nee, I buy it. <laughs> And I, uh, no, I, I, you can't get witch hazel. In England, you can get yeah. witch hazel when you have a spray. You put it on your on your spray, and it takes the swelling down. But you cannot buy it in Holland. I, I have no bottle. Well, when I go back to England, I always bring a bottle back. But I haven't got any at the moment because it also smells really nice. Yeah, I you love. Can, uh, voor mijn uh, my, uh, gezicht. Your, your gebruik het voor skin. Oké. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> het I... kan ook in protection spray. Dat doe ik een beetje bij in. En daar doe ik uh, daar wat van in. Samen met het volle maanwater. En dan samen met kruiden. En dan ga je protection spray maken. Uh, well, Wendy says you can use witch hazel. And you can use the full moon water. And then with herbs. And that's your protection spray. Ja. Yeah. In England, you can go to the chemist and you can get a bottle like that for a couple of pence. It's, yeah. not, very, it's not very expensive, but I've never seen it here in Holland. In Holland, yeah, you can uh, buy it by a uh, um, shop, uh, Groothandel. How do you call that? In uh, English, I don't know. Wholesaler. Wholesaler. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've never seen it. I have it. Yeah. So they, that... Yeah, en deze kaart is ook, hè, wordt niks voor niks wat er, uh, als je deze kaart uh, trekt, is het niks voor niks dat je die trekt. Dus je moet er wat mee doen. En uh, ja, bescherm jezelf daarin. Je moet er wat mee doen, meer dan normaal. When you get this card, you must take action on it. It is imperative. So you must protect yourself. Now, there's only two more cards to go, Wendy. Ja, two. Ja. Well, Millie thinks somebody's at the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I know that we've got the, I don't know whether this is, this is the south node, the north node, the east and the west. The, the, uh, but yeah. um, this is also, I don't know whether this is air and this is fire and that's earth. I just don't know. We'll see what the, what the book says. Yeah. And what you say. The witch's circle. Many witches create a circle before a ritual to prove, oh, sorry, to provide a safe haven for the purpose of working magic. The circle exists outside boundaries of ordinary space and time and between the worlds of the seen and unseen. It is a space where al alternate realities meet in which the past, the future are one. The meaning of the card, we all feel the need to seek out our own sacred space at times, even if we are not able to run to it when needed or need be, because not all circles are physical and can exist as energy patterns created by an enacted meditation of words, gestures and visualizations. One can be with you at all times. The circle represents unity, com uh, completion, continuity, wholeness and protection. Whether you create a circle physically or mentally, call upon it to soothe you whenever you feel the need for a safe haven and to eradicate the sometimes harsh effects of the world around you. The gemstone is lab 
Labradorite. Labradorite exhibits beautiful optical effects called Labra Labradorensis that create spec uh, spectral colors as it plays with the light. This enchanting gemstone is a token of magic, protection and mystery. Carry it with you to clear and protect your aura as though you are inside a witch's circle. Wherever you go, incan incantation. My sacred space is with me wherever I go. It is the one thing I will never outgrow. I open the circle whenever need be. It is my shelter and I hold the key. Beautiful. Nee, deze kaart um, ja, staat voor de windrichtingen, uh, maar ook de elementen uh, die we gebruiken als ware voor uh, de pentagram. Dus het is als ware komt dat er ook in terug, de beginselen. Dus eigenlijk de windstrekende grote eenheid, hè, balans uh, tezamen. Alle elementen. This card uh, represents the wind, uh, the forces of the wind and all the elements, earth, water, fire. And also um, air, and also um, the the five of pent the, the pentagram. The five of pentagram comes back into this as well. Ja, de elementen die je nodig hebt hè, om te mogen groeien uh, in alle in alle vlakken van het leven, dus zowel geestelijk als mentaal. The elements um, you can use the elements to grow mentally and physically and learn. Ja, en ook werk aan jezelf en luister ernaar en ga ermee te werk. Um, it helps you to, uh, to work with them, listen to them, listen to yourself. Use them. It's a, it's a form of meditation. It's a beautiful card. Beautiful. Ja. The last card and then we say goodbye. <laughs> ja. The witch's hat. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we uh, Wendy showed uh, us her hats. Yeah. And in September, we'll see Wendy, um, her cloak and her altar and the broomstick that she's going to make and the wand. So we'll have another episode in September. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The witch's hat, pointy hat. The witch's pointy hat, like the sorcerer's hat was created as a pyramid, a shape that is known to raise energy frequencies. It is said that the witch's hat has the power to increase intelligence, which is why at a dunce cap, it came to be worn by people who were judged as lacking in the brain department. The big circle circle brim symbolizes the magic circle and the tall pointy part represents the cone of power. The witch's hat is traditionally black, symbolic of the crone goddess, the dark half of the year and the occult mysteries. The card indicates that at, at this time your sense or are heightened and you have the ability to tackle and solve those issues that have been nagging you for the past few weeks. You will also be called upon by those in need of advice and wise counsel. Be truthful and cognizant of their feelings. The gemstone amethyst. Amethyst is a stone of wisdom. It augments physical or sorry it augments psychic ability and opens the crown chakra work with this violet gem when you need heightened senses or are called to dole out sage advice and lilac or violet is also the angel uh, Zatkil in the angelic um, chakras. Clear thinking is mine. 
a gift so divine. May all problems be solved and the glitches resolved. In the blink of an eye, they'll be left high and dry. Yeah, beautiful. I love this, met the moon and the raven. Lovely. Ja, nou, deze kaart duidt in principe aan van, um, dat er eigenlijk een beroep wat je op, wat je, op jou wordt gedaan. En deze kaart symboliseert dat je wordt called upon to be of service to others. Klopt. He, uh, je mag mensen helpen en daar waar het nodig is. Je moet act upon this call where is necessary. En niet alleen mensen, maar ook dieren en nou ja, Not alles wat people or humans, but also our beloved animals. Ook nature. de de ja, de nature hè, de yeah. nature. Ja, dat en dat sowieso. En uh, nou, doe dat vol overgave en uh, nou, en vol overgave en met passie en ga ervoor en doe het wat This goed voor jou. Do sorry, sorry. Do this with a pure loving en hart en good intentions. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. Thank yeah. you, Wendy. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to. A lot of my viewers will know that I work with angels, and I said we said that last week uh, we would do a meditation. I'm going to do a meditation. I also uh, do this. It went on my own. And I always, um, it, that's my cat, so I'm a witch. I've been called a witch. <laughs> But she's got the black and the white, so, yeah. and the green. Yeah. The, the, the blonde. She's yeah. more of a witch's cat than a cat, witch's cat is, because she's like, she's got a goddess, because the Siamese were used in the pyramids. Yeah, yeah. So she's not only a witch, but she's also a goddess. Yeah. Okay, my I work with the angels, and like I just um, when I was reading the book and it said the violet sh sh crown chakra, that's angel Zatkil. Now I work when I do my healings. I usually go into the Reiki chakras. And I also bring in the angelic chakras, the extra chakras. Well, uh, in like here, uh, you can see we've got uh, the white light, and that is Metatron. Yeah. And then we've got uh, two purple or really three purple. It just depends what you think. But it yeah. is violet and lilac. And then you've got indigo. And indigo to me is more purple than dark blue, but in this book it is dark blue. And dark, so uh, that is the difference. Um, so I'll just go, and I usually work from top to bottom, because when I got initiated as master or, or beginner with Reiki, you have to open up your crown chakra and the white light goes through you. So the, the crown chakra is purple, then you've got the, um, uh, the, the third eye and the third eye is um, uh, lilac um, and some people say dark blue whatever and then you've got the throat chakra which is blue and then you've got the heart chakra which is green and then you've got the um, the and the fine thamus that is the little gland here that you can tap on That's the clan for joy, but it goes from green um, and in this with the angelic, they've got uh, pink, which is also the heart because of love. And then you've got the yellow one, which is there. That's Archangel Jovial. That's the solar plex. Then you've got underneath the navel, uh, you have orange. That's the secretal yeah. chakra and the secretal chakra is for the pro reproduction organs and the sexual organs and then you've got the base chakra which is also in your groin but and also under your feet some people say it's the groin and some people say it's the groin and the feet or just the feet so that means grounding 
and there's different angels for that. So I'll start with Metatron is the white one. Zatkil is the crown chakra. Then you've got Zatkil, and that's the um, third eye. Then you've got the, uh, no, sorry, um, the, those two, and I, I, I'll be twisted. I like it much simpler, like violet, and then you've got an, an other chakra here. It's the fifth eye, that's the angelic chakra. And then you've got the third eye, and that's Razil. Then you've got Michael for the throat. And then you've got the thamus, which is the joy, the, the, the clan of joy is Haniel. And I always remember him because of honey, sweet mm -hmm. honey. And then you've got the, the green chakra, which is Raphael. Raphael, he's the Italian angel. You know, he's angelic, but he's also Italian because of Raphael. And Samuel, the pink of love and love yeah. is the heart. And then you've got Jovial, like I said, the yellow one. And then we've got Gabriel. Gabriel is Italiano as well. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't like the series all the time. You must be able to joke. And then you've got Uriel. And he's the beautiful. Okay. And now when I sit down, I, I do it differently sometimes. When I'm alone, I just sit like this. But when I do it live, I say to my viewers, put your feet down on the ground like that so that you're connected with the earth. And hold your hands up to receive like cups, like a cup. So you can hold the love and energy and receive and just lean back, close your eyes. And um, I'll just do the meditation, uh, but usually life, I also go into the breathing exercise because when breathing in positive energy, and I'll, I'll do it and breathe out the negative energy. Okay, let's yep. go. Just get comfortable and sit comfortably, lean back and relax. Set the intention to receive healing and to do the meditation. I'm going to start, I'm going to leave the angels out of it because this is about the witch's oracle deck. And I'm just going to keep it plain, but I'm going to go through the chakras. So imagine white light you can see that in your eye mind. If you sit with your eyes closed, you might see other colors. Don't force anything, but see whether you can find the white light. Might be yellow. That's positive energy, but angels, will you surround us in white light and let the white light go through us? So open up every chakra and that's what we're going to do. And then we go from the crown chakra to the third eye which is just above your eyebrows and open up your third eye. Please let us see and I will say angels so I'm going to just keep going with the angels. Please angels let us see not only what we want to see, but make our sight bigger and be more aware of what's going around us. Heal our eyes if they hurt or if we've, our vision is bad. Please open and heal. Then we go to the throat chakra. Please heal our throat chakra. This is also the chakra for our lungs because we need air to speak and to formulate and hear the words we speak. Let us speak the truth. Let us also be able to speak and protect ourselves and let our intonation be beautiful. Intonation 
is important because when we speak charmingly, people will have more attention to what we say. Then we go down to the heart chakra. Let us help us open up the heart. Thank you, angels. And heal those people that have closed the heart. Open the heart again so they can find love and peace. Physically and mentally. You might see yellow, you might see green. As that green means also healing. Space. Let those hearts that are closed be open to love, joy, happiness and healing. And then we go to the solar plex chakra, yellow. Please angels, let joy and happiness come to those that have none. Let them open their solar plex so they can receive happiness, love and healing and feel the warmth of the yellow rays of sun. It feels like if you're standing in the sun. Then go to the secretal chakra, the orange colour. Let those be healed that, that would like to become pregnant or have more sex drive. Let there be healing in that area, action. And then we go to the root chakra, the red chakra. This is the point chakra. And this is the grounding, rooting chakra. So that we can stand in our own strength and feel strong and confident. Thank you. Now I'm going to do the breathing exercise. Breathe in through the nose, the positive energy, and hold it and then also bring in your stomach when you breathe in. It's also good for the stomach muscles and breathe out through the mouth, the negative energy and push out with force with your stomach. So breathe in through the nose. You can sit up a bit more right, upright so you can get the depth of your lungs. Breathe in positive energy through the nose and out the negative through the mouth. Breathe positive energy in through the nose, hold it and your stomach and out the negative through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, positive energy and stomach as well and out through the mouth, the negative energy. Now just enjoy what you see, the colours or whatever and come back to yourself. Just enjoy the peace, the rest. Thank you, divine and angels. Thank you, and we are grateful. Please help those that need help. Amen. 
just sit quietly until you feel you're ready to open up your eyes remember when you open up your eyes you might be a little bit dizzy because you're coming back to the light of the day shake you can shake the energy off and you i get goosebumps when i do this and all the negative energy goes away thank you thank you wow yeah very, I've got nice. very light in my head now <laughs> yeah. oh heerlijk <laughs> lekker is it eh? heerlijk voelt het goed wendy yeah. says thank heerlijk. you feels good and that's the magic everybody does it differently it doesn't matter how you do it just it's the important thing is that you take time out say thank you show gratitude and share your energy with the divine the cosmos your little bit of energy helps others as well and that's how we come together and that's how we stand strong yeah. yes beautiful yeah more well wendy thank you very much for your beautiful attribute to the series and working with me and i hope i think we have made a lot of people wiser and more uh, aware of what is around us who you are what witches are what healers are and that yeah. we're all different but nobody's wrong it is all that we work with nature and yes. the pure heart and love and that's beautiful yeah Flower, thank you. Flower. <laughs> yeah. thank you very much and i hope to see you in september and i hope the move goes well let us know post some pictures on facebook sometime uh, how things are going in belgium and i hope to see you when i go to belgium yeah. so take care and god bless and your family and thank you a man okay Thank you, good to be, and uh, all the people, thank you. Thank you, take care. And thank you, my cyber angels and viewers. And remember, give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends. And have a beautiful summer. And I hope the coronavirus will be gone in the summer now, preferably, because everybody's getting fed up with it. But I hope this series has helped you in some way, uh, to also brighten your day and to get through the coronavirus. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye bye. Be blessed. Thank you.